Hi there and welcome to this exciting new feature focus on our new image to video generation tool. I'm going to show you a few different examples of ways that we can use this tool and don't worry there are going to be lots of skill spotlight videos coming out in the near future with hints and tips about how to use this. To show you the functionality though we're going to jump right on in and you can now see we have generate videos as an option right on our landing page so we'll go in and we'll get started. Here we have the option to upload an image straight away to start our generations. We can also try pre-built examples. If you select those, the image and a prompt will come in and give you a great example of how this works. However, I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to select runway as my model. Runway is absolutely the foremost model that we have available at the moment. And the key thing here is that we're going to start with an image. This can be an image that you've brought into pencil from your own assets, or this can be generated. I'm starting with one of my lovely pencil people. I'm then going to drag this image into the right position on my video canvas. And we want to make sure that there is no red border around here. That red border shows you if you haven't filled the canvas, you won't be able to generate without. On runway, we can generate in 5.3 or three, five. You also have some settings here, which vary depending on your model. The main thing here is that we can choose between five seconds and 10 seconds. We have prompt entry, but I'm going to start by showing you that we can generate without a prompt. And here, image selection is absolutely key. Let's press generate. If we've got an image that has a nice suggestion of motion, we're going to get better video results from it. I've shortened the generation times on the videos in this um, tutorial, just so that we're not sitting around waiting for an absolute age. And let's see what it does. We've got some really nice smooth motion, including some really lovely motion on her hair and her earrings. So great outputs, even when we don't prompt. Next, I'm going to show you the impact of prompting in your image to video generation. So I'm going to choose a different image this time. Again, this is an image that I've generated, but you could use any image that you bring in. And again, I've chosen an image that really suggests motion nicely. So we've got a kitten running. I'm putting that in my frame, making sure to fill the frame completely. And this time I'm going to enter a prompt. Now I can give you lots of extra information about how to prompt for video. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by just describing the contents of this scene. I'm going to mention the motion of the subject. So here we've got the kitten running and we're going to mention this in relation to the camera, so it's towards the camera. I'm then also going to put some camera prompts in there and I'm going to put in any additional information that I want here. So I could be saying like this is on a gimbal in order to smooth out the motion that's provided. We'll press generate. Again, there'll be lots of information coming in for the skills spotlights and there's information in our help desk about how to prompt for video. That's going to generate and let's take a look. And we've got lovely smooth motion running towards the camera. That's done an excellent job of processing my prompt. Our final way of inputting into this tool is to have a start frame and an end frame. And once we've done start frame, end frame, you've got a lot more heightened control over what happens in the course of your generated video. So I've got two generated images of the same man here. This is going to be a really simple example of start and end frame animation. In one, he's in profile. In the other, he's looking at the camera. These images were less suggestive of motion to start with than the examples I've used previously. I'm then just going to prompt what I want to happen here. So I'm starting by describing the man in profile. I'm going to say that I want a smooth turn towards the camera and for him to smile. And I also want to say what is the motion of the camera as this is going along. And in this case, I want it to be a fixed camera position. It's worth noting if you don't prompt for fixed camera position, the camera will tend to pan around any given shot. Let's let that load. And then we'll take a look at the outputs 
on this. We'll get there in a second. There we go. And let's watch him. And we've got a really nice smooth transition there, which worked really well because the images matched up between the start frame and end frame. So that's image to video generation. The best way to get to learn anything in pencil is to just give it a go and practice. And again, we're going to have plenty more resources available on this. We have articles in our help desk, but we're also going to be providing skills spotlight videos on prompting for image to video generation and on use of start and end frame for a few different video effects that we can apply. Thank you.